for our third upset when you look at the seeding of the season three quarter finals. And if it is a 3-0, it would be the most commanding upset as well. The most upsetting as it were. Xavier out the gate, going double main tank goads. This time the other way around. That's Patapan on the Ryan and Dreamer on the Winston. So yeah, this Patapan gonna take things into his own hands again. It's double DPS inside of Phoenix. The ham and raking ball for Melon as well. And for Xavier, need to find a way to get on this point quickly. This is a bit of a tough composition to actually run Goats into. A lot of disrupt with the Doomfist and the Wrecking Ball. You've also got a lot of damage and flank pressure. There's Patapan already going down. Even as they were able to get onto the point, he was just getting chipped away at, chipped away at. Good counter trade though on Melon. They're getting some good pressure out onto the DPSs. This is where Olivier can start to protect a few things. And the ticks are there. Vendetta fight instead of Cord. Patapan actually changed onto Tracer, then went back to Ryan. And that was just as Thetacon got picked. I think they were thinking that maybe they would have an easier run on the point. Olivier, that's an unfortunate self death there. And with the Nano Boost having gone out from Ilsu, they've got the extra damage on the point. Should be able to start closing these kills out. Two thirds will be all Xavier get on the first point. You do also see there because the fight did go on for quite a while. Four ultimates being charged up for Phoenix, and I'm pretty sure he'll sue me. Looks like he actually used he the Nano Boost in there as well. So that's five, you count that one, nearly six if Pacel gets in there. And for Xavier Esports, coupled with the fact that Patty Pam did make that slight swap and then going back on the Rhino as well, they are now significantly behind in Old Judge. This is very unfortunate. One of those being the EMP as well is a real tough one to try and fight through here. And also losing Olivier was huge. He had so much charge. That was one of the things that was allowing them to stay in that fight. Oh, disruption out there yet. Good stop though with the stun on Melon. It stops the extra layer of disruption. The EMP is decent. Might just be enough still to finish off Patapan. Indeed it is. And again, it might not be Dreamer this time, but just picking on the Reinhardt is working wonders. Now they close out on Olivier. Dreamer pops a Primal Rage here, gets slept immediately. And this is having already lost the other two tanks of this team. I really don't know how I feel about that. They're not getting any kills to back this up either, and Phoenix still have ultimates they can just cycle through. Good news is at least two ultimates are down. The EMP was used, so was the Minefield Xavier. Still have members alive. They still have members going on top of point. Transcendence now responded from Pacel. They're committing now Thetacorn with his Transcendence out. They've actually been able to get Padaban back in the fight along with Olivier, and that's got to be a real saving grace. As look at these members getting low. They find Il Subi. Watch the that EMP. Earth out to the side was enough to secure that. Zulu's Dreamer, and now Padaban as well. Again, they're always lacking can get at least one if not more of these tanks and despite Hojin Ho and Vendetta getting so low they still get the kills and again Xavier just ended up having an expensive loss in terms of ultimates and time. It's going to be a double swap as well for Xavier now Dreamer going on the Rhine, Panic Pan deciding what he wants to play was hovering over D.Va now going to be playing the Ash instead that's a very Interesting pick considering you are playing into a Sombra and a Doom. I don't know how well you can protect yourself. I don't know what kind of value you're going to get as an Ash in this composition. So oh, things are going to be pretty tough, I think, for Xavier because they are still playing at ultimate disadvantage. Less than one minute remaining. And now it's going to be Dreamer, the main target in that. That is such a huge combo. The EMP, huge pop up with the pile driver and an absolute wash from there. 45 seconds left. And Xavier have really not hit their stride yet. And they tried a few different things but it seems they're running out of ideas. Ho Jin Ho gonna get some more early ult charge. He's beginning EMPs fairly quickly. And for Phoenix, still sitting on a decent string here because when Olivia uses the grab, it will be countered by the Transcendence. That's basically guaranteed to happen. Phoenix are in a great spot. And again, the displacement from the Doomfist and then the Wrecking Ball is wreaking such havoc that they couldn't follow up on that Graviton Surge. The self-destruct to keep Might everybody separated. I think it is indeed over. The kills are just insurmountable there. And Xavier never had an opportunity to approach. Excellent use of the disruption out from Phoenix. And again, just absolutely abusing all the weaknesses of every composition that Xavier has brought to bear. And now you're sort of at the stage where not a lot is working for Xavier. You've tried a pure 3-3 Goats, the Rhine version, the Winston version a double main tank version across two different types that uh, with Paddy Pan on the Rhine and also Paddy Pan on the Winston, you've tried a Paddy Pan Doomfist briefly, you've tried a Bunker Cop and Nubani, you've now tried a little bit of Ash as well. For Xavier, it's like everything they're going back on the drawing board with is unfortunately falling short and they don't have any more time to go back to the drawing board because this could be it. This has to be a perfect defense now. They did not get enough. Pro in fact, they got two ticks. So that's something to work with. We're not quite in a draw scenario. This can still be winnable, but they need a perfect defense to make sure Phoenix do not cap out A. And you're also at the sort of stage where for Xavier, what else can you play? Because you've 
now got the DPS in there. And part of the reason I mentioned they got to go to DPS is, well, if you're not winning in the mirror, you got to try something else. But if you're also not winning in the other counters and the non-mirrors, then unfortunately there's not a lot left. I'd feel a lot more confident about their ability to full hold here as well. If they have, had been more consistently in the entirety of that push and even the last map actually on Numbani, if they've been more consistently winning fights anyway, they've not been consistently winning fights even with a compositional advantage or just in a composition neutral situation. This has got to be where Xavier step it up. It is now or never. They are about to go home. And I think this is also the sort of case where you could even choose to mirror the DPSs if you really want to. Play Pad Pan on the Doomfist, put THK on a Sombra, something like that. Dreamer can stay on the Rhine if he likes to, but for Xavier, this is it. There's only one opportunity left. Pad Pan going to be squaring off against Ho Jin Ho. He's actually going to... Gonna make some change offs. It's gonna be squaring up against Vendetta. No, not even that. They just want to play goats into this. The thing is, they don't need to take the duel against uh, Patch Patapan's Ash, even though they could. Widow's probably favored there, but uh, Phoenix got a lot of confidence in just this brawl comp. The opening move, good to isolation on Power Wu to take him out of the mix, but a couple of counter kills there is actually a numbers advantage technically for Phoenix. And they're not getting the mileage out of the Ashes oh, yet. Now onto the mind. point. These members are going down. Patapan's to get onto the ground. And that's such a dangerous position for him. Able to get some space with the coach gun. But everyone else is basically stalling for Patapan to maybe find some picks. And while they're doing that, they're exposed and they're low and they're dying. And now Patapan's dead. And that's going to be it. Xavier going to get shut out. The final they were deprived of in Season 2. The semi-final they're going to be deprived of in Season 3 here. And Phoenix will keep the hopes of Korea alive in the Pacific region. They will be the sole Korean team making it through to the semi-finals where they will play the other team to have 3 0 in these quarters, Hong Kong Attitude. And Phoenix as well has done this in such a commanding fashion. You can see the scoreline here, 0-2 on Lee Jung Tower. One of those was a 100-0, completely perfect game. Nambani a little bit more contentious. This was where a lot more back and forth did happen for both teams than going on to Hanamura. An 0-1 difference is absolutely staggering. Phoenix has absolutely run away with this game. They absolutely deserve to win as well. A lot of effort went into this team, coming from EXL in Season 2, now Phoenix in Season 3, losing most of their core players over to Geekstar and Contenders Korea. This rebuild has been a very uh, sort of tumultuous one across the five weeks that we've seen in the, yeah. the season. So to now get into semi-finals is a big deal for this team, a big deal for the organization. But unfortunately, it does mean Xavier are going to be